Hey everybody, so tonight I thought I would make a video kind of following up on the other uh, videos I made as far as showing you how I like to play certain riffs and then kind of diving into the details and things that I make a difference between like a good and a great cover. So, so far we've done... And then we've done... And today I wanted to tackle uh, Vultures, which is one of my favorite uh, Mayer riff. Uh, I just love that song. I think it's super groovy. Really fun to solo over too. I'll make that another video. But uh, that uh, that riff, if you don't know, and I'm assuming that you don't, uh, or that you already know how to play this, I'm not going to go note for note through it. But it's. <laughs> So really short, there's just pretty much two parts to it, and often these really simple riffs are the hardest ones to play. And Vultures is, is no exception. Uh, it has a lot of intricacies as far as these little, I'll kind of list them out now. Basically there's things where there's these micro pitch changes. That's not. It's. It's got these kind of bluesy pitch changes, little micro pitch changes. And then second thing that's important is the heavy vibrato on the first run through. That wet kind of pretty thick vibrato is a signature to this song. In my opinion, when I hear a cover and the guy nails it, I'm like, ah, that's a good one. And the third one is these little kind of very subtle hammer-ons. Because that whole note there. Anyway, I'm just gonna walk through it and we'll talk about each one. So these first one, uh, the first run through the riff is. And that has the two parts that we talked about. So you have this little pull down on from the fourth and fifth strings. Uh, that's really important. So in these first notes that you strike, and I finger pick this entire song, um, but if you want to get more aggressive and you're playing with a band, you actually can hit it with a pick. You can play it with a pick. It, it gets even more groovy. It's really fun. But I think we're just going to talk about playing finger, uh, finger pick today. So we have this. You're pulling that down sl just slightly. You can hear it just go out of tune and I pull it down it's easier for me and then after that you're gonna hammer on to the 16th fret with your ring finger but you're not it's gonna be very subtle isn't and it's almost covered up by the slap that you're doing because there's the entire time there's a you know a slap going so you have So that's the first thing is you got to get this first kind of uh, micro pitch change thing down. The next thing is the vibrato on this. And in my opinion, if you if you want to focus on one thing, this is the one thing to focus on for this riff. It is the vibrato. And, that's, and the reason I say it's so important is it's actually pretty hard to play it up here. It's, it's an awkward hand position. Um, you can get a lot more muscle when you go up here, but down here is. It's all wrist rotation. And I think you try to make it as big as you can without going out a super like sounding way out of tune. Right, so work on that and try to get that vibrato as big as you can. Watch, uh, I was actually at the Love Rocks, uh, the God's Love We Deliver concert in New York City with my buddy Nick. And uh, he played vultures there, and the vibrato was huge. I mean, he was—I could see his hand moving from you know the nosebleed seats that I was in. But uh, yeah, that's something where you can really go pretty aggressive on that. Um, so the last thing is going to be the pitch when you go second way through. So there's a uh, sorry, there's one more thing. So you have another kind of. So you're doing these little hammer-ons here and they're very subtle and that's something I think the more subtle you can get it almost the better. So and then when you do this, these, you strike this note twice here at the, on the second run through and at the end you're going to push up. Or I mean it doesn't really matter, I guess it doesn't matter which way you move it, but that's another kind of like small pitch change. And 
Vultures is actually a great song to practice uh, adding in little pentatonic licks there, because this whole song is super just F sharp minor blues. That's pretty much the whole thing. You get really, I mean, the it, it's it's a quintessential Mayer blues thing. It's just. <laughs> I mean, the solo is literally just all F-sharp minor been done. So you can play with this and you can... And, uh, and kind of add in some, some riffs there and it's a fun thing to practice so you could... I think one of my favorite things uh, that I learned how to do, or at least I'm still learning, but something when I was a beginner and I'm just starting out playing, I always wanted to be able to like play pentatonic licks over a progression and kind of do all the chord not chord melody but playing licks while you're playing something i think it's cool because otherwise it's you're either always playing chords or you're always playing notes uh single notes so i thought that was always cool to you hear that um this video is gonna be a lot shorter again this riff is pretty pretty short but i would say just the, again the three things are focus on the so those two pitch changes there, and then the little hammer-ons here. And then the vibrato here. Try to get that as kind of wet and loose as possible, and I think it'll sound great. Again, a shorter video than normal. Thanks for watching. I have a couple more videos that I'm going to work on tomorrow, and I'll get to posting. Thanks. Appreciate it.